Welcome to Ballin' with No Balls. Today we're tackling the silent era with American screenwriter and director Ida Mae Park. Ooh, another Ida. Ida started out as a stage actress at age 15, but quickly transitioned to writing. The first screenplay she ever wrote, A Gypsy Romance, was developed into a short by director Wallace Reed in 1914. She partnered with Reed again later that year on her short, The Man Within. Soon after, Ida and her husband, director-producer Joseph DeGrasse, were hired as a writing-directing duo at Universal's Bluebird label. Oh, love a husband supporting his wife in that time. The duo went on to create 45 joint projects together at Universal from 1914 to 1919. That's nine films a year. Ida made her solo directorial debut in 1917 with The Flashlight, starring Universal's top dramatic actress, Dorothy Phillips. Ida then went on to direct an additional 13 films at Bluebird, but most of them were labeled as women's features. What's a women's feature? A film where the woman's existence doesn't revolve solely around a man? Not totally clear. After leaving Universal, Ida directed the hour-long silent film The Butterfly Man in 1920, followed by two more independent films co-directed with her husband that same year. Three films in a year? And yet, the Golden Globes couldn't find a single female director to nominate in 2018? Ida wrote two more screenplays before leaving the industry altogether, the last of which was called The Playthings of Hollywood in 1931. Want to know what it was about? I'm a little afraid to ask. It was about how women don't receive enough opportunities in the entertainment industry. Huh, shocking. One of Ida's most notable quotes comes from her time spent directing The Rescue in 1917. She said, A woman can bring to this work splendid enthusiasm and imagination, a natural love of detail, and an intuitive knowledge of character. All of these are supposed to be feminine traits, and yet they are all necessary to the successful director. Preach, Ida. Well, thanks for joining us this time on Ballin' with No Balls. We'll see you next week.